All right, in this video, I want to talk about converting between degrees and radians. And there's kind of one thing I, you know, remember to kind of help me get going uh, on this stuff, just to kind of remember some basic formulas to help me convert. So I think about a, a, a circle of radius 1, the unit circle. Um, again, the idea is if you go all the way around the circle, we've gone 360 degrees. And degrees are the ones that, you know, used to make sense to me. They still do. Uh, but uh, radians seemed a little more foreign to me. But one thing to remember, if you remember the circumference for, for formula, um, it's just 2 pi times r. But the radius, uh, in this case, uh, since it's the unit circle, the circle of radius 1, the radius simply is equal to 1. So the circumference is going to be 2 pi. So kind of equivalently, the distance around the circle, we say, is 2 pi radians. All right, well, that would mean that halfway around the circle, that's 180 degrees. Um, equivalently, that would simply be pi radians. So that's kind of my conversion uh, formula that, that I remember. This is kind of the thing that I play with. Okay, so what do I mean? Well, let's do some specific examples here. So we're going to co uh, convert each of the following degrees into radians. So let's start here with 45 degrees. So again, I basically think, well, okay, so 180 degrees, that's equivalent to pi radians. And maybe in this case, uh, you know, if you're good with arithmetic, maybe you can think 180 divided by what is 45. But if you're not sure about that, the way I always do it is I'll first simply make this into one degree and to do that I'll simply divide both sides by 180 so it says one degree is pi over 180 radians and well again I don't want just one degree I want 45 so I'm gonna multiply both sides here by 45 And so now I just simply try to reduce uh, this, this value on the right side. So um, 45 does go into 45 uh, once. 45 also goes into 180 four times. So it says 45 degrees is going to be the same thing as pi over 4 radians. And again, if you, if you didn't you know, know that, you could always divide top and bottom by 5. And then I think you know, you'd be able to reduce it a little bit further and just kind of keep breaking it down until you get to pi over 4. Um, so let's see, same thing with 90 degrees. I think 90 degrees is, is a little, uh, maybe a little more simple. Um, so we said 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. Well, to make the left side into 90 degrees, we could just divide by 2 and divide by 2. So we would have 90 degrees is equal to pi over 2 radians. Okay. Let's see, a couple more here. We've got negative 450. So let's see, negative 450 degrees. So again, I'm going to start with 180 degrees equals pi radians. I'm just going to divide both sides by 180, just like we did. So 1 degree is going to be pi over 180 radians. But again, I don't want uh, 180. Uh, I don't want pi over 180. I don't want 1 degree. I need negative 450. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by negative 450. So that'll give me negative 450 degrees on the left. And then I'm going to have negative 450 pi over 180 radians. And this is the part now that it, you know, is a little more tedious to simplify, but we can simply cancel out the zeros. Really, we're just dividing top and bottom by 10 is all we're doing. And then I think, well, what's the largest number that goes into both uh, 45 and 18? Well, I think 9 is the biggest number. So 9 will go into 45 five times. 9 will go into 18 twice. Got to keep our negative there. But now we've got the equivalent, uh, the equivalent measure. So negative 450 degrees and negative 5 pi over 2 radians are equivalent. All right, last but not least, I think we had 500 degrees. OK, so uh, to do this one, we'll just do the exact same thing. 
So I'm just going to jump ahead. So we'll have 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. And now I'm simply going to multiply, in this case, I'm going to multiply both sides by 500. So I'll get uh, 500 degrees is 500 pi over 180 radians. Let's see, we can cancel out the zeros. Uh, the biggest number, I believe, that will go into both 50 and 18 is simply going to be 2. So 50 divided by 2 is 25. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So it looks like we're getting 500 degrees is equivalent to uh, 25 over 9. I lost my pi there for a second. Uh, 25 over 9 pi radians. So let's rewrite that one more time.